Now, we understand how to create a simple login system using Express application. Now, let's build a simple little application that serves files from the folder. I'm going to show you how you can create a folder that serve different files to the requested user. User can request HTML file, images, or their favorite MP3 song. So let me first talk about the requirements for this application. Your server should log every request whether or not it's successful. Then the application should check if the file exists in the folder or not. If it does, it will send that file over the internet. It will continue onto the final middleware. And the last requirement is if the application didn't find the file, it should return 404 message and finish up the request. So let's take a look at how to create the simple middleware application in Express. So I'm going to create a new file inside this tutorial folder. So here I'm going to create a new file and name this file middleware app. So let me first initialize this file. So I'm going to open my terminal and here I'm going to first enter in my middleware app like this and initialize this project as npm package. So here I'm going to say npm init hyphen file. So this will just initialize this project as npm package. Just for that I'm going to clear the screen. So as you can notice, I have this package.json file inside this middleware application. Let me just install some modules which we are going to use throughout this project. So I'm going to use here npm command to install modules. And then I'm going to install express and node mod. I'm going to install two modules in this express application. When I press enter, this will install these two modules as a dependency of this project. So it will create a node modules folder. And inside it, I'm going to have this express and node mod module. Let me just clear the screen, open the package.json and let me just create my start command. So here I'm going to specify double quote and specify start nodemon server.js. Right now I don't have this file inside my project so let me just create it. So inside this middleware app I'm going to create server.js. Now just for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a static folder inside this middleware app. And in this folder, I'm going to put all the files that I want to serve to the user. So here I'm going to create a new folder and name this folder static. If you want, you can specify any name to this folder. That doesn't matter. And here inside this folder, I'm going to create a few files. So I'm going to first create cool.txt file. And inside this file, I'm going to say express middleware application. Save this file and close it. Just after that, I'm going to create another file inside this static folder. So I'm going to click on this new file icon and here I'm going to say app.json. And inside this JSON file, I'm going to create a JSON format like this. And here I'm going to say app and specify value middleware app. And just after that, here I'm going to specify version. Version is going to be 1.4. Save the changes. And now here I have some data inside this file. And let me just copy a simple image and put that inside the static folder. So I'm going to just copy an image and paste it inside my middleware inside the static folder. So here I'm going to paste image and I'm going to just back to my editor. Now you can notice here I have this pixel.jpg image. You can choose any image here that doesn't matter. And if you want you can choose mp3 file, a video file and other type of files. I'm going to serve these files to the user when the user requests these files. Now once you create the static folder. Let me just create HTTP server. So here I'm going to first say constant express is equal to require and require the express module. Just after that, I'm going to say constant path and require the path module. Just after that, I'm going to create constant variable and then I'm going to require the fs module, the file module. So here I'm going to say fs. As you know, we use this module to work with files in Node application. Just after that, here I'm going to say constant app is equal to express and initialize this app variable as express instance. Just for that, here I'm going to say constant port is equal to process.env.port or I'm going to specify the fallback value 3000. Just for that, let me just listen to the server on 3000 port. So here I'm going to say app.listen and on port 3000, I'm going to just listen to the server. So I'm going to say here port. And in the callback function, I'm going to specify console.log. And in the backtick operator, I'm going to say listening on HTTP forward slash localhost 3000. So instead of 3000, here I'm going to specify my port name like this. Save the changes. 
Now you can notice here, I don't have any route inside this application. I'm not going to create any route inside this middleware application. Instead, we are going to work on middlewares. So here I'm going to create a simple middleware that handle the request and send the response. So I'm going to just simply say here app.use as you know to use middleware, we call the use method. Inside this use method, I'm going to simply pass a function. So here I'm going to say function and don't forget to pass the request and response parameter as well as the next parameter. Just for that, I'm going to specify curly braces and inside this function, I'm going to specify console.log and in the double quote, I'm going to say re request date and I'm going to just concatenate here. So I'm going to add here plus sign and say new date. So I'm going to create an instance of the date class. So this will just return the current date to this console message. Let me just save the changes and start the server. So I'm going to open my terminal. So here I'm going to say npm start. So this will just execute the start command of this package.js file. When I press enter, this will start the server on port 3000. Let me just click on this link and open this URL in the browser. You can notice here your browser will hang. The loading spinner will spin and spin and spin until the request eventually time out and you will get an error message in your browser. That's not good. Let me just back to my editor and when you open your terminal, you can notice here you, you have a console message here, requested date and you will get the current date as a result. So this middleware will log every request whether or not it's successful. So when you execute your application, you will see the loading spinner. That's not good, right? So I need to solve this problem. So when you create a middleware, it needs to finish responding to the request. So to end this process, you can simply use here, inside this middleware, you can simply use response.end or you can use response.send or you can use response.send file. These methods are helpful to finish the response. And just for that, it needs to call the next function to continue on to the next function in the middleware stack. And here I'm going to simply say response.send. And I'm going to send here welcome middleware app. Back to the browser and as you can notice, the spinner is now stopped and you will get a message welcome to middleware app. So this will just successfully finish the request. If you want, you can use response.send file or response.end method. Now, let me just get rid of this response and use this next function. So, let me just get rid of this response right from here. Save the changes. But instead of sending the response, I'm going to say here next. I'm going to call this next function. Let me just save the changes and reload the browser. So, you will get an error message cannot get. Now, you can notice we successfully tackle the spinner problem from this application. Next, we're going to understand how to serve the static files to the user.